So this is the pump drill with a lay it down action, or more easily referred to as the Justin Rose drill. So I'm gonna get into my normal setup position, swing up to the top and stop. And now I should be about 50-50 with my weight between my feet, approximately. And from here, all I'm gonna feel is my arms moving down, particularly my right arm. So I'm gonna feel the upper part of my right arm fall into my torso, my elbow kind of hit me at my stomach. And as I bring the club down parallel to the ground, you can see it's back here like at a 7.30 position. So 12 o'clock, six o'clock, then that hands right kind of at that 7.30 look. All right. Now, as you do that, you just go up, you pump down one, two, and it's normal as you pump down, maybe just feel like you're just moving your left hip back a little bit. Feel like that left hip just drives back, but really keeping that right hip quiet. And as on the third time you get to that position, you're going to swing down and hit the ball. So you set up, go to the top, one, two, three. And it's real important too, as you're letting your arms fall, you're not feeling a pulling sensation. Like when you get down to this position here, you shouldn't have to feel like your arms tense up or you have to really stop what you're doing. It should just feel more of like you're just stopping the fall. Okay. And again, that left hip coming back is really important. We don't want to let that right hip come out as you're making that pump motion either. But we don't want a lot of lateral motion either. All right. Just feeling that arms kind of falling that way as you come down. So that drill is really, really good to give you the proper sensation of how the kind of arms fall down in the change of direction. And it's helped Justin Rose a lot. And I'm sure it's going to help you too. Ball in a tournament, I'm often sort of rehearsing a feel that I want to make. Now that, that feel looks like I'm putting the club way behind me and the reason I'm doing that is I'm trying to create the sensation and the feel in my body that I need to hit the goal shot. So if I was to, you know, I don't want the club to be here in delivery, that's way too far behind me. But as soon as I bring rotation to the target into play, this feel turns into that impact delivery. So if I was to rehearse this, i.e. getting the club in front of me, but then I put in momentum with my turn, now that club is thrown out. It's a little bit like the water skier. Like if the boat is turning, the water skier gets thrown out. So I'm the boat and the club is the water skier. So essentially, as you're turning to the left, centripetal force tends to throw the club out. So I'm trying to put the club in a position where I can now turn and then that club gets a free ride into impact. So even though it looks like a technical thought, I'm not really kind of really looking at the exact positions. I'm just trying to create a feel and a lot of that feel is making sure I'm staying on my right leg into my right hip. One of my faults is I'll get into my left side too early and then the club's too, too much in front of me. So by staying here, letting my left arm drop as I stay closed, and by closed I mean my back stays to the target, I'll never actually be in this position, but the sensation is there. And as soon as I put some speed and turn, everything's gonna be in a nice delivery position to hit a proper shot. So feel and real are two completely different things. So here's my feel. And there's my reel. I feel like I am. Um... I mean, I'd press my feet into the ground. I'd like to use the ground, so I always feel like if I can get really grounded with my feet, kind of a kickstart, and if, if I let it, if I just let it fall from there, um, I like the feeling of my right elbow coming ahead of me, so I try and let the club fall without me doing anything. I don't try and sort of pull down or anything. Another demonstration, please. We can't get enough of you hitting the ball as solidly as you do. Yeah, I try. <laughs> Do you want me to hit one or just a... Yeah, no, hit one for us. All right. Let's have a, a nice flush six iron again. No problem. What's the master move in golf, Mo? My vertical drop and a horizontal tug. Let's see that. What, what would you show us if you saw the vertical drop and horizon, uh, horizontal <laughs> tug? That's the master move? Right here. First foot comes straight down. 
The, the cup is going further behind my back on my downswing. This is pointing never this. It's always my left arm's way higher than my right. Way higher. You can always put the club in this way. Never, you know, the other way that would fall there. My club would always fall. Never in front of me. Always back behind me. Here's the master move. The feeling of greatness. I'm the only golfer in the world who's got the feeling of greatness. The only one living. Feeling of greatness. Right here. Oh, is that pure? <laughs>